So Sulaiman Salam said, you know what? You ate all of it. He said, you know, Allah Ta'ala provides this to me three times every day. You know, Allah Ta'ala will provide you risk from those places that, you know, you will not have, you will not have ever imagined. This is our test, my friends. Rather than losing hope, this is what belief is all about. There is a hikayat. I just, I, I think it's a hikayat. It's just like a story, made-up story. That's what hikayat is generally to 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 tell people. Wallahu a'lam. Maybe it's a real story, real story as well. That you know, some it's it is about a prophet. I mean, there are some stories which are not through some sanad. There is no chain of narrations in that. But some are Israeliyat, they are coming from the stories of Banu Israel. But because there is nothing in that story which goes against, you know, the, uh, the usul, the principles of our deen. So I think it's okay to, to actually mention that. But, uh, I repeat that I don't know about the authenticity of this story, but because it's written in some books, I'll mention that. That Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam, he asked Allah Ta'ala that I want to, uh, I want to feed your your creation and Allah Ta'ala says you will not be able to and we know what who Sulaiman alayhi salatu is Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salatu islam was made a king over, over humans and jinns and, and, he, and also birds and animals so he said I want to feed all your makhlukat he said you can he said I want to feed your makhlukat for a month he said you can't for a week, he said, you can't. He said, for a day. So, okay, you know, you can try it. So he prepared like food for many, many days. And then he, he invited all the makhlukat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, including the fish in the sea. So again, as I said, I repeat the third time that I don't know about the authenticity, so don't hold me to account, but I just want to tell the, the, the you know, the principle behind it, which, which of course is true. So it's a fish came and it ate all what he had cooked for days. And he had invited all of his makhlukat. One fish ate all of that, say a whale or something. So Sulaiman said, you know what? You ate all of it. He said, you know, Allah Ta'ala provides this to me three times every day. So the principle is true. All of his makhlukat are eating. Every single day we see this flock of birds going out and, and they go and they eat and they come back. There is not even a single day when these birds come back empty stomach. And that's what the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that if you trust in Allah the way that these birds trust Allah, you know, Allah Ta'ala will provide you risk from those places that you, know, you, will, not have, you will not have ever imagined. These birds go in the morning empty stomach and they come back every evening with full stomach. So if we trust in Allah, it does not mean that we do not make an effort. Of course, we all make an effort. Lekin, where is the trust? So anyway, Allah Ta'ala is providing all of His makhlukat. In the, in the sea, there are like thousands of makhlukat just in the ocean, on the land, every type of makhluk. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is providing all of them. This is the wusat of the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is just one meaning. This is how big is the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah ta'ala's ilm, that's also wasi. Allah ta'ala says, Inna Allah wa seon alim. Inna Allah wa seon alim. Although wa se is a separate attribute and alim is a separate attribute, but when you join the two, that is also true that Allah Ta'ala's ilm is also wasi'. مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يَشْفَعُ عِنْدَهُ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِهِ يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِنْ عِلْمِهِ Nobody can en encompass his ilm except what Allah Ta'ala grants us or what Allah Ta'ala allows us to understand. His ilm is so vast. You know, our minds are so small that we cannot comprehend all of these things truly in reality. 
because we are only thinking from you know our perspective ac according to the perspective of our own intellect unfortunately or fortunately i don't know right a small little ant just thinks according to its perspective you know it is not thinking about the airplane that is not thinking about the mountains the ant is possibly thinking about you know how to get to the roof have you seen ants getting on, getting onto the roof you know they start and then they fall down and they start and they fall down but they don't give up and they keep on trying they keep on trying they keep on trying and if you really notice these ants and you know time comes to actually get onto the roof to just pick up something and that's it and then they come down and and this is how they work actually and allah taala has not put any bone in them so that when they fall down they they don't get any fracture <laughs> maybe allah taala has, has made them made all of this thing to give us a lesson that you know you keep on trying you keep on trying you keep on trying you keep on trying and a day will come that you will succeed don't give up don't give up as if it's for your worldly things and don't give up if it's for your spiritual well being there are many many people who try to get close to allah taala they want to improve their prayers but you know they try once they try twice they try thrice and when it does not happen they say you know i give up subhanallah look at these ants do they give up they never give up they always try and a day comes when they succeed or a time comes when they succeed during the same day actually but anyway what i'm trying to say is that these ants have their own perspective of think of taking things and we our our minds are also very small that possibly we cannot understand all of this properly but wala yuhituna bi shay'in min ilmihi illa bima sha nobody can can encompass his ilm except whatever allah taala wants us to understand only if we understand this thing that allah taala's ilm is beyond our comprehension his ilm is absolute only if we understand that only if we submit but his his ilm is 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 vast wa kana allah wasi'an hakima allah taala's wisdom is vast everything is happening for a wisdom my dear friends everything is happening for a wisdom sometimes we become so hopeless when we look at situations around us when we look at our own personal situations we try and we try and we try and you know people become very hopeless but the thing is that allah taala everything is happening for a wisdom everything is happening for a reason firaun was such an oppressive king isn't it he was killing children killing small little babies what an oppressive king nobody was able to say anything to firaun when who israel were oppressed they were made slaves by firaun and they were very upset say the musa alaihi salatu salam was told by allah subhanahu wa taala to go and free banu israel he went he told firaun you know leave them give them to me i'll take them he said no of course not and <laughs> after musa alaihi salatu salam and musa alaihi salatu salam said to everybody believe in me I've, i'm a messenger of allah right believe in me and everything will be okay and they believed in him and things did not go well and these people were very impatient people if you read quran and you read the story of banu israel they were very impatient people in fact when they were saved from firaun even that after that they were tested and they were saying you know what 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 change came came to us when we were under firaun we were in hardship and we came under you we are still in hardship very impatient people but what i'm trying to say is that it was not things did not change overnight it was quite some time when eventually allah subhanahu wa taala protected banu israel and musa alaihi salatu salam from firaun and what was that it was an instant it was one instant right firaun and his army were going after musa alaihi salam and banu israel and there came the sea and allah taala ordered musa alaihi salatu salam to hit the sea with his stick and he hit the ocean with his stick and there was a pathway and they all went from it 
you know, they would all pass the sea from that pathway and Pharaoh and his army were coming behind and Allah Ta'ala ordered the sea to join and they were all drowned in an instant. And before that, for many, 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 many years, they were oppressed. But when Allah Ta'ala's hukam comes, his order comes, things can change in an instant. You need to understand this. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything is happening out of that infinite wisdom of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. His wisdom is wasi'. This is our test, my friends. Rather than losing hope, this is what belief is all about. Belief is about that we believe in Allah and His message and we read Quran and not lose hope because Allah's wisdom, Allah Ta'ala's wisdom is infinite. It's wasi'. He's al-wasir in his hikmat as well. But that's what belief is.